Welcome once again to my laboratory. We're going to be looking today at some ammonium dichromate, one of my favourite chemicals and I'm sure it's one of uh, yours. Now ammonium dichromate's got a beautiful orange colour to it but as you can see it's highly toxic and uh, therefore without a fume cupboard I'm just going to do this thermal decomposition in this large bell jar. Uh, just to contain the chromium oxide we're going to produce. So I'm heating up a deflagration spoon, put all my safety equipment on and we heat it up enough so that the thermal decomposition will continue all by itself. And as you can see as uh, it does uh, go on fire it produces a lot of heat and sparks and water and uh, you can see that it's forming a lovely uh, voluminous ash, a uh, green ash, chromium 3 oxide, because the chromium uh, dichrom the ammonium dichromate is, of course, uh, at uh, oxidation 6. Now you'll notice here that once the decomposition has happened, the bell jar is coated in lots of uh, water due to the water that's given off from the reaction. But you'll also see that the gas inside is like a brown gas. Uh, now it's meant to produce just pure nitrogen. But I suspect because it's been deprived from uh, oxygen in the air that uh, you've got nitrogen dioxide there. So you can see the lovely volcano that it forms and I remember doing this in school and of course there was ash everywhere. The green ash, uh, chromium 3 oxide, is used in pigments and you can see uh, it's actually been used in one of the paintings that I've done of Sleeve Donard in Newcastle County down here in one of my paintings. So there's ammonium dichromate back up in the shelf with the rest of its family. Hope you enjoyed that short demonstration. Please do like and subscribe and uh, I'd love to hear your comments on this. Hopefully see you soon.